All right, guys, Shotty T here. This is Karina Challenge, the Robots Realm of Legends Challenge. And needless to say, Guillotine 99 is the MVP. I know when I did the A-Gun Challenge, I was saying, well, maybe I could just use Warlock for Wolverine, but Guillotine 99 shredded Wolverine. Yes, he regen at times. That was annoying, but we do that SP2 with the reverse healing. That health melts. Needless to say, so um, and we tried. I think the one fight that I was that was annoying once again, no surprise, was uh, the uh, Juggernaut fight, and I decided to fight him with Ultron the first time, and got KO'd, and then I tried. Some, yeah, so that obviously was not great, but that fight is it's always a challenge. So. But the rest of these fights pretty much been guillotine 99. Um, and really no other reason to try anyone else. I did try some other people early on, but then it was kind of pointless to use those. So anyway, we got her. I think we got her pretty ramped up. Um, I think we got four or five souls captured. Uh, we might have them all captured, I'm not mistaken, but... But we're gonna focus on this fight, make sure we don't lose our combo. So we're gonna go ahead and get this combo established here. And pretty much what I've been doing this whole time is, is um, using that one soul for the lifesteal. So that way, save myself some potions or keep her topped up for the most of the for the most part. focus a little bit more here because I'm used to the audio for the game but live live streaming this fight I'm not really hearing the uh, game much so, so I gotta focus just a little bit more here and right now I'm not focusing that SP1 can throw you off if you're not paying attention I don't want to throw that but, Alright. You can see all that red damage is just ridiculous, man. Now Ultron can do some work here. But since it's only robots, you can't you don't get the benefit of the um the um the synergy with uh, what's his name? Hulk Buster. He would definitely be OP for this if, if, you, if you're able to use that synergy. But you have to have all robots on your actual team. You can't have a non robot. And unfortunately, Hulk Buster is not a robot. I mean, he's in a robot suit, but he's considered a human because he bleeds. So. But as you can see there, like that life still just keeping my life pretty much around 90%. I don't have to work, I can parry freely pretty much. So that makes the fight less foolproof, so that way you can afford block damage because it's hard to basically get too low. Uh, and then plus once I get down, to, if I were to get down to 15%, I have that uh, emergency heal as well. It's not as potent as it would be if I had, uh, if I didn't have any armor, if I had two armor ups. But really, it's not necessary. I'd rather make the fight quicker by life stealing him. And if I were really bold, I would actually do the guaranteed crit every 20 hits and make the 20, the um, SP2 hit harder. But, but this has been a pretty safe, technique with her this whole time nothing nothing fancy i mean it's just a straightforward this is probably the easiest of the um challenges really it's easier than the agon one um but obviously agon had a long wrap up at the beginning and it was only agon so as you can see i'm almost at 100 percent health He's almost dead. 
And really, at this point, since he's already, this is my last fight, it doesn't really matter if I finish the fight with an SP3. Of course, I would like to finish in that type of style. I think I'm not, I think I'm just gonna take him down to 5%, now I'm no more specials to the SP3. It's kind of crazy that the, that the SP3 guaranteed kill if you're at five percent because really sp3 as a three star definitely it's not going to cost five percent damage if it, under normal circumstances so really this uh this really comes in handy for these fights here but one more combo and this guy will be damn with two life steals there and bam thank you ma'am i mean that's how these fights have been man it's just Pretty straightforward challenge. Uh, like I said, I got creative with Ultron, but really, that was it, man. That was it. I mean, I, <laughs> everybody should have Guillotine 99 by now, especially for in game players. I mean, I know some newer people in the game probably don't have, or in this, and it really, this challenge is meant for in game players. I mean, you don't expect someone to just start in the game to maybe do a Karina challenge off the bat. And the Karina challenge is going to be there to infinitesimally. So, is that a word? I think infinitely, indefinitely. So, uh, you may not get the thirty day challenge. I won't because I'm not. I'm not going to get all these challenges done in thirty days. I didn't. Even, I didn't even do the first Karina challenge in thirty days. I still haven't done all nine of them. And my roster's pretty developed. So, so really, just take your time. Be patient. But once again, uh, we got another opening here. Um, this this time is going to be the Tech Cosmic Six Star Crystal, so we will be opening this live right now. Um, if that fight wasn't too bad there, so last time we did Cosmic, and guys, again, I apologize. I'm I've been under the weather and and my my, my voice is kind of gone, uh, but I've recovered greatly over the last few days, so nose was running recently and today's just pretty much getting all the infection out so by the time i wake up tomorrow i should be back to normal but let's go ahead and open that crystal we got one a bonus crystal to open in this opening as well well uh the the calendar logins earned me another one of these crystals and as you guys saw i got black widow and deadly origin as a six star which is awesome and then i max sig a gun and funny thing is, time, time I complained about getting a Max Six Six Star A gun. The very next day, Kabam puts a memo there. Be on the lookout for special uh, compensation for those that have duplicated Max Max Six Six Stars. So that's exciting because they even said it'll, it'll be retroactive. I think they said that if you've done that over the past several weeks, if you've gotten any dudes, I think it's the only one I've had. So. But either way, it's one crystal. So that way you're not wasting a six-star dupe. Because, I, I mean, I know a lot of people have been saying that for the longest. Now, it would be better if they did that retroactively to when the first people started doing that. But I know that will benefit the whales more than anything. Because I know they got some whales out there that will, like, open thousands of dollars with the crystal until they get a chance to six, six, two hundred. So they probably got so many max six six star pulls, probably ridiculous. So, so I guess that makes sense that they only go that far, only go so far back, and not benefit the whales too much. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up this phone breaker here as well. I need, well, I guess I don't really need those as much, but for this Karina challenge, I'm gonna be using some tier four uh, basic to rank up some champs for this challenge, especially the five star variety. Um, trying to debate what I'm going to do next. I'll probably go ahead and finish out the Ram of Legend. So I'm going to do the uh, A-Force Illuminati uh, team run. Um, I'll probably get that done tomorrow. Uh, war placement is tonight. So I'll go ahead and place my defenders. I'm going to do some of the um, the side quests of, or the monthly event quests for this month. And then we'll go back to our regular scheduled program with the Karina Challenge. So here we go, guys. Cosmic Tech Crystal. Uh, first of all, let's highlight who we can get out of here. Just want to see what are the top prize 
Deadpools. So we got Nimrod, Hercules, Penny Parker, uh, Spider uh, Spider Man. Um, so none of these I have really, except for Medusa. I did pull her recently. It'll be a dupe of her. So uh, Cosmic Tech is not really the. I mean, it's the it's the class I probably got the the most of all the champs really. So focus on who I who I don't have as a six star. Um, that would be great to get. We got War Machine. Uh, Psycho Man got a buff. I have to look into that buff. I heard some people rave about it. I have to look into that. Uh, Odin. Uh, Hyperion, of course. I don't know if he's in this crystal or not. I doubt it. Uh, Nebula. Of course, Cosmic Ghost Rider, of course. So really, the top pulls are Cosmic Ghost Rider, Hercules. I don't think Hyperion is going to be in this crystal. Then you got Odin. Uh, I guess Psycho Man, and then um, Penny Parker and War Machine and Spider Man, uh, uh, Stark Enhanced. So, and Nebula, I guess, and Nebula is decent. Um, but here we go, guys. Uh, let's see what we get out of this crystal. Um, hopefully, I mean, if you're gonna give me a Max Sig, I guess that'll be okay now. Uh, the only Max Sig I got of the Cosmic Tech variety would be Silver Surfer and. Um, guardian so i got some dupes that could be useful to get in this opening as well but let's see who we get let's see what the crystal oh duplicated ghost would be great also by the way uh okay that's the first time dupe of annihilus so i guess yeah first time dupe is acceptable but obviously not the champ i was looking for out of this crystal but I mean, but these just challenging this caught me anything. I didn't have to change my mastery like I did for that Wolverine fight. If you guys saw that, that um, eye wrenching video there. I have, sometimes you have to post stuff like that just to show the community that you're human. You're not like a robot because that fight was a struggle, man. I thought I'd never get through that fight. Um, but when I changed my mastery, that did help. I didn't have to do it for this run, and I'm probably not going to do it for the A Force Illuminati. So just kind of remind you guys, because um, I'll probably get started on this tomorrow. The A Force team, and you guys it's probably like a, a list out there now on True Coast or something, so that way people don't have to go to these tags. But the A Force team consists of She Hulk, Rogue, Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, Scarlet Witch. Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, all of these I have match rank except for Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, which I'm not going to be bringing anyway. So, um, Scarlet Witch is interesting for that Wolverine fight because she can nullify his healing, but probably not the best to bring. She Hulk will be interesting because she has that heal reversal with the SB2. Um, and then Illuminati, if I'm not mistaken, we have, and of course, Rogue can steal his healing. I don't know if she can nullify it though, I think she can only steal it. And then for the Illuminati uh, team, I believe Magneto is definitely in the mix here. So we got Magneto. Mr. Fantastic will be interesting, but you have to maintain uh, those um, debuffs if you're going to go that route. Um, so really the main champion for the Magneto, I mean for the uh, Wolverine fight, would be Magneto with the Fantastic Synergy. So... Uh, that'll definitely be likely the choice there. Really no other champs out of this group that I would probably bring for this challenge. Obviously can't use Magneto for every fight, so um, we'll see who we end up bringing as our five-man team. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, like, share, comment below, hit the bell notification, and my voice will be better next time we, we speak.